Well, hi there, gang. Uh, my name is John Davenport. I'm here on, uh, what? I don't know what the name of this planet is, but, uh, this is my Outer Worlds adventure. Um, I'm here with my friend Parvardi. Uh, she's, she's kind of a narc, but, uh, I've come from the Earth, and, um, there's lots of things going on here. I'm originally from Nebraska, and, uh, I'm just hanging out here with my friends, just trying to get along, you know? I'm not, not the smartest cookie in the space cookie jar, but, uh, I'm just doing my best. Well, if you're just watching this now, you, you, you will have missed the first, uh, the first little bit of my adventure. I didn't make many particular decisions, I don't think I did. I've been standing in the same spot now for about a month and a half. I can't really remember what I was doing before, so we're just kind of take it as it comes. Oh, it's a space apple. Can I take that? Uh, oh, jump in the tree. I can't take... Damn it. No. Okay. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, let me have a look on... Oh, I'm at the greenhouse place. I know where I am. I remember this. So, uh, we just, um... Oh, she definitely, like, steals corpses. I remember she ain't a very nice person. But then again, the other guy seemed like a bit of a dick, too. I already know what decision they're gonna make. I talk to the chicken. Talk to the chicken. Talk. Hey there, chicken. Cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Um. Oh, that's the wrong button. Hey, there's me. This is what I look like. This is me, John. I got a big hammer at the moment. Um, I don't know how good the hammer is. I don't... I'm not very good with numbers. Um, what am I doing? Journal. This is what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I was gonna go divert the power. That was what I was gonna do. Divert the power. To the, the, the botanical lab, I think. I don't really know. I'm just gonna go there and kind of see what sticks, you know? See how I feel in the moment. You know, all my best work I do... Oh, no, not the space turret. Um, oh, goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is where they take the bodies. I don't want to be in here. How do I get the hell out of here? I'm gonna go back out this way. A lot of my best decisions happen kind of spur of the moment. Uh, you know... I tend to uh, just kind of see what happens in the in the uh, in the course of the day. Uh, hi there, deserter. Hi there, deserter. Geothermal master control terminal. I think I gotta go this way. I've not actually been to this geothermal plant. Everyone keeps talking a big game about it. I'm quite excited. Oh, that was a mine. Ow. Oh. Ah, I died. Oh, I've died. Oh, goodness. Now, hi, gang. Nothing happened there whatsoever. I definitely didn't walk into all the mines that I forgot were there. Name's Joan. How's it going? Hey, Deserter. Hey, Deserter. I'm gonna go to this geothermal plant. It sounds very exciting. And I'm not gonna step on that mine. Okay, turns out you don't have to step on it. You just got to get close. Oh Christ Lord Jesus my savior. I've died again. I'm not very good at this. I think I'm just gonna have to not Go that way. We'll find another way around. How about that? Hi there, it's Joan Davenport here. I'm gonna go this way out of the village just like I always intended to do. Do I have a map? I do. See, that would be useful. So I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go... Yeah, I can go this way. Great. Hey, Grace. I remember you. You were cool. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, uh... You come from... I think you might come from Space Nebraska, too. Oh, it's a doggy. A space doggy. These are uh, space doggies, very colorful. I'm not really sure what they're for, but uh, I don't like killing them. 
I don't enjoy the murders. So we're just gonna go over to the Geothermal Master Control. That's a mouthful. Jesus. The Geothermal Master Control Terminal. Oh, what are you? Oh, what is this? Oh, what is it? What does it say? Leather boa. Nasty. I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh no. The robo doggy gonna get it up. Oh, dang. I found it. Botanical guardian mark. I really wanted to poke around in here. Oh, really? Hang on, I'm gonna talk to Perverdy. Yeah, huh? I noticed you mention your dad a lot, but never your mother. how I never met her. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting mechanical computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That seems... Oh. Minutes she thought of having a kid, they put it down in her permanent record? What? No, conception isn't... Has nobody ever taught you about this? Oh, no, wait, what? He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. And Tool Lee was thinking with was definitely Thomas not a range. Always listen to me. Never said I was odd. Never tried to. I just want to think of him like that. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Of course you would. <laughs> that was not very helpful about how to sneak into this place, though. Can we smash this? Space window. <laughs> Dang, space window. I don't... I mean, this doesn't look like I should walk through that, right? Oh. Great. Processing. Oh, dear. Whoops. Gonna sneak around on the road. We got it. We got it. Oh, he's shaking. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of the road. We got here. Lots of boxes. Ooh. Stuff. I don't know what half the stuff on this planet is or does, but sure is fun to pick up. Box. What's in the box? I can pick locks. Did you know that? That was a skill I learned back on Earth. Oh, another sentry. System alert. <laughs> Ever-loving shit out of this thing. There we go. Yeah. Dumb drones. Ooh, shiny. Delicious. All right. Well, in we go. Hello. Ending. The control room should be off to the right. Ooh. Oh, I can 
can sell stuff. I don't know what's good or what I'm gonna need though. I don't, I'm gonna keep buying stuff. I don't know what the right thing to do is, you know? I'm really struggling with this one. Because where I come from, I kinda just do whatever feels right in the moment. Oh dear. I missed. Shut up. We shut it up. It's okay. Where are we headed? Hi there. Owie. That hurt. How do I... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, that's better. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Whew. That's much better. All right. What are we looking for? Not just stuff. Ooh. What? Ooh. Ooh. This letter serves as an informal notification of account. Oh dear, they don't like it. Oh dear. I think they killed him. And that was the Spacer's choice, guys, right? So, we shouldn't really side with them. That doesn't seem like a good idea, but I don't know. Causing a bunch of people to be sick also ain't a great idea, if you'll be asking me. Just looking for treasure. This is where I would hide all of my treasure. Oh, or my dudes. This is where I'd hide my dudes. I'm stuck on this fence. Oh, there we go. then. I guess it's decision time. It's operating at 22% efficiency. That kind of sucks. Redirect the power. Error. Uh-oh. Oh, dang. I gotta activate the electrical track switches. Where are they? Oh, damn it. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. You say that like you've never done something like this before. Three switches. I mean, it sounds super easy, right? But I bet there's gonna be bad guys in all of the places and... Oh. It's just gonna be a whole thing, you know? Just a whole deal. I don't I don't actually care about all of these people. I'm sorry. Let's go this way. Oh hi there. You know, I'm starting to come around to the idea of beating the ever-loving shit out of some rodents. I didn't like it to start with. It kind of made me feel uh, kind of gross. But, um, you know, the more I bash in the skulls of a bunch of robots, the better I feel about it. Does that make sense? Does that make me less human? I mean, they're only robots, right? They'll be fine. They can't feel, can they? Okay, if they can feel, don't tell me. 
Out here. Fleet loot. Space toilet? Anyone? Parvardi, you need to you need a waz? I'm fine. I went earlier. There's two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Yeah, huh? I don't I don't know. I don't think we should. Self diagnostics oh, hello. complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Thanks, corporate robot. Hostile actions towards spacer's choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion all. Hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. A murder robot from me? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Oh, hell yeah, I got a murder robot of my very own. I got an assist, an assistant murder rubit. Come on, murder rubit. Murder Robert, that's what I'm gonna call you. Murder Robert. Oh, little bug. Come on, murder robot, Robert. You're not Robert. real. You're not real. I'm real. What? What's going on? Who said that? Just leave me alone. What's going on? Hello? Oh, wrong way. My bad. Go away, Phantom. Phantom? Sissy, give me. Investigating. Great job. Where's Murder Robert? Oh. What? I can suck more if I want. Oh. No, I've got Murder Robert. I'm not scared of no robots. There we go. I ain't scared of no robots. Where am I supposed to be going? Where is Murder Robert? Is he not here anymore? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? That is not doing nearly as much damage as I was hoping. This is a bad gun. Stronger already. Sorry, sir. 
Now then, where is that button? Gotta press the button. Where is it? It's upstairs. Alrighty then. I'll go up here and go and press that button. Oh, sweet, sweet sure larvae. Forbidden soup. Forbidden soup. Forbidden soup. I want a taste. I want a taste. So warm. God damn. Yeah, anyway, um, I was uh, <clears throat> sorry, distracted. Alrighty, back to the switch, and I gotta make a decision about who we're. I guess killing. Once we do this, there's no going back. Stop saying shit like that, all right? Yeah, huh? I don't know what to do. Give me some advice. You're supposed to be here for support. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, look. Look, okay. I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Okay. Do you understand what you're about to do? No, not really. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. All right, I don't. Miss McDevitt's been using corpses in her fertilizer. The thought just makes my skin crawl. I don't sure, know what to do solution, here. I mean, exactly pleasant. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick, gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Yeah, and then Reed's well, gonna sure be like... sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. thompson has got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. God damn it. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I was barely oh, listening. well. Okay, then. I'm in a real kerfuffle here. You know, I... Damn it. I'm betraying someone either way. What if I try and divert power to the town, because there's infrastructure, but then convince this dumb idiot Reed man? Oh, I don't know. Capitalism, you know? Ah, oh, damn it. Damn, here it is. Redirect power to Edgewater, redirect power to Botanical lab 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 I... I just feel... Like I could do better. They could work together and, and maybe throw off the, the capitalism thing, the whole bullshit Spacer's choice. I don't know. Is there a way of getting it so that so that they, they kind of leave behind Spacer's Choice. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Okay. I'm doing it. I did it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If this goes bad, I'm... I really fucked it. But, uh... Oh, boy. Let's see what we can do. I think they're gonna be pretty cross with me. Pretty PO'd. You know what I mean? I'd be pretty PO'd with me too, to be honest. You know, I've completely stopped all of their power. I just... Oh, I didn't know what to do. Hey. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. No, it's mine. What's on your mind? Luck, mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Well, well not until the power went and cut yeah, that's out. That's not going to work now. now is everyone's it? giving me sidelong looks, expecting me to work some miracle and get the generator humming again. Whoops. Woofa doofa. Bye. Yep, yeah, hi there. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. And then used my corpse this as fertilizer. What are you doing? Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? I like pressing buttons. Are you really this moronical, or are you just putting on airs? Listen here, Hullhead. I'm only gonna say this once. What? Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Then don't. Don't, like, don't. Just you, you come back. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell him what I have already told you. That I know the secret to bringing life back to the soil. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Yeah, no, I figured that one out already. What happens when you run out of corpses? Water cemeteries got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Alright. But for real, I need this, though. Thanks. I could just leave, though, right? Surely. I'm not just gonna leave. That would be very mean. But I, I should just leave. Okay. I won't. But I, I could just leave, is what I'm saying. Which one of you is the person I'm supposed to talk to? Is this you? Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. That's not true. Move. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. 
The matter's been weighing on me. Yeah, you should probably leave. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Topson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. I'm going to try and talk Reed sure. into stepping down. suit yourself. I'll be here. I guess I'll go do that first, then. All right. Time for me to teleport. Whoosh. Whoosh. Am I going here? Nope, that's not a door. Let me in. Let me in. I guess I could just walk through the front door. That makes a lot more sense. And go in the lift. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Oh, hi. Hi there, Mr. Reed. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. Yeah, I think you should I trust leave. Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. I mean, you kind of suck, dude. <laughs> Your town's a mess, right? I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. I absolutely can't. I'm a Spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. Plague is a disease. You're so dumb. Have you people ever eaten a vegetable? The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? Well, that's probably more healthy we than are the Saltuna. We choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. Then you'll die. The Saltuna's been a mite bland ever since Adelaide left. And we don't get as much Saltuna these days, so... We've had to improvise to meet quotas. With bullshit. We've added wood chips. Wood chips. Oh, so when you were like, don't Toss eat the chew to bark off of the tree, once. that's exactly what like you're doing anyway. You're so stupid. How long you been doing this? years, give or take. Right around the time the first wave of plagues hit the town. Oh, there's a fucking surprise. Now listen, I do not know what pretty rhetoric Adelaide has fed you, but plagues are a simple fact of life. They are when you eat wood. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Look, it's like maths or some shit, and it works. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Hell yeah, corporate asshole. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. All right, bye. I don't actually care about him. What? I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for, even if they ain't care much for me. Parvardi, you're a wet blanket. You know that? A complete wet blanket. I think you need to have a backbone. We're gonna teach you how to have a backbone. Never listen to this damn good music. Alright. 
All right. I did your damn thing. I think that's probably the best decision I could have made. Look at that. The snake's come back. You keep calling me a snake, I'm gonna put a snake in your boot. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. Yep. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. That's still kind of gross. Some I'm still not. To gather my mm. personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Is it all the bodies? Is the burden all the bodies? Oh boy. Maybe we'll clean up before we leave. But uh, for now, I've been Joan. This has been Perverty. That's been New Mayor Adelaide, or whatever her fucking title is. And, uh, this has been my little Outer Worlds adventure. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and, uh... Did I make the right decision? I don't... I'm still not sure if I did the right... Anyway, um... I guess I'll speak to y'all later. I'll see you again. Okay. Bye-bye now. Bye!